This is a list of headings question type strategy for the reading section of the IELTS exam. Presented to you by www.aehelp.com for over 100 hours of video lessons, a fully interactive course, and six original practice exams, visit and join the premium package there. Now watch and learn. List of headings questions challenge you to find the best title for each paragraph in the passage. Here we are looking at the passage Battle for the World's Tallest Building. Here are the list of headings choices. List of headings questions challenge you to find what each paragraph is about. This is the only type of question in the reading passage that you see before the passage. That's because you need to answer these questions while you read, not after you're finished reading. When you are preparing for the exam at home, step number one for these types of questions is to paraphrase the choices. This means to restate each of the choices in your own words using synonyms, antonyms with negatives, expressions, and descriptions. That's because you are not likely to see the exact same words in the passage as what you see in the choices. IELTS test makers use paraphrasing to have these questions challenge you. All right, so let's look at our choices and paraphrase them now. Now, at home, you should do this paraphrasing practice on paper. During the official exam, you don't have time for that. So you will need to be able to just do it in your mind as you read the choices. All right, now let's go to step two. The next step is to read each paragraph carefully. After you finish reading a paragraph, ask yourself, what is this paragraph about? Then answer in a full sentence. Next, match your answer with the closest choice from the list of headings. For the body paragraphs, the answer to the what question is usually in the first or second sentence. However, for the introductory paragraph and the conclusion, it's a little bit trickier. You need to understand the whole paragraph to answer the what question. Let's do this together, step by step, starting with the introduction. Let's read the introduction now. Battle for the world's tallest building. The desire to construct taller and taller structures has been a part of human culture for at least 4,500 years. Dating back to ancient Egypt and through to modern day, the construction of tall structures has mirrored advances in technology, logistics and engineering. Today, the world's tallest buildings are landmarks, tourist attractions and points of civic and national pride for residents. Okay, what is this paragraph about? This paragraph is about the architectural past of human history. Which of our choices matches the closest. It seems to be choice number seven, a part of human history. Make sure to use the Roman numeral in your answer sheet. Great. Now, for the next paragraph, we are given the answer as the example. The answer here is number 10, or X. 
So let's go to paragraph C. Let's read that together now. It wasn't until the year 1311 CE and the construction of the Lincoln Cathedral in England that the height of the Great Pyramid was surpassed. At 525 feet, it was only slightly taller. Throughout the period from 1311 to 1880, the title of world's tallest building changed hands a number of times, through both destruction and construction. But each structure was a European church. Interestingly, the world's tallest building from 1647 to 1874 the Strasbourg Cathedral in France, was actually shorter than the original height of the Great Pyramid. Standing 469 feet, the cathedral was approximately 13 feet taller than the Great Pyramid's contemporary height, which had been reduced 35 feet from its original stature by erosion. What is paragraph C about? Paragraph C describes the time when churches were the tallest buildings. Let's see which is the closest match. It appears to be the reign of the churches. Notice that the Strasbourg Cathedral also seems to be fairly accurate. However, this is just a detail. It is an example. It is not what this paragraph is about. Be careful not to confuse details for the what question. You are looking for the topic here, not the explanations and details. All right, let's do paragraph D. 1884 marked the first time the world's tallest building stood in North America. The Washington Monument, standing 555 feet in Washington, D.C., is also the world's tallest obelisk and tallest all-stone structure. During this period, engineers and architects were reaping the fruits of the 19th century's Industrial Revolution, which led to accelerating advances in construction, engineering and technology. In 1889, the Eiffel Tower was completed and stood as the world's tallest building at 986 feet for over 40 years. What is paragraph D about? It is about the Industrial Revolution and how it really quickened the development of building taller and taller structures. What's the closest match? Roman numeral nine, the industrial acceleration. Fantastic. Now, here are the remaining paragraphs, E, F, and G. Do these on your own and find the answer key at the end of this video. The designation of world's tallest building returned to the United States in 1932 with the construction of the 1,250-foot Empire State Building in New York City, one of the incredible architectural achievements of the 20th century. It was completed in just over a year, an astonishing pace. The first building in the world to boast over 100 stories, the Empire State Building stood as the world's tallest for 36 years. After domination by Egypt, Western Europe and the United States, 1975 saw Toronto, Canada's CN Tower steal away the designation of world's tallest with a height of 1,815 feet. Over a third of a mile high, the CN Tower was the world's tallest for 32 years. This designation is disputed by some academics as they believe a building must be inhabited or be worked in, in order to count as a building. The CN Tower is neither worked in nor lived in, though it does have an observation deck. So while it was 
unambiguously the world's tallest structure during this period. Opinions differ on whether it was the world's tallest building. 2007 clarified any debate there was concerning the designation. With the construction of the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, it became undoubtedly the world's tallest structure and building, standing 2,722 feet, precisely 50% higher than the CN Tower. The Burj Khalifa soars over half a mile into the sky. Where do we go from here? What heights will buildings of the future reach? Will we one day construct buildings that reach into space? While the impetus for the construction of taller and taller buildings may no longer be proximity to the gods, the desire to touch the sky with our creations remains. Make sure to practice these skills several times at home before you sit your next IELTS exam. Remember, practice makes perfect. To see many more lesson videos like this one to help you pass the IELTS the next time you sit the test, visit and join us at www aehelp.com subscribe to our channel click over here watch more videos click right here or click our IELTS hero for over a hundred hours of complete video lessons and six original practice exams to help you pass IELTS